so these are the various uh, screen capturing the uh, techniques teams zoom meet and so on webex meet now let's uh, start with uh, our webex first you go to webex.com this is the screen that you get then uh, sign up this screen it requires only your email id after that these are the details that you are expected to fill up then uh, your account is ready then uh, this information will be mailed to you your username and your webex site as soon as you receive this you have to click on this and change your password and create your and then you can start uh, join the meetings from your desktop you can have this app downloaded on the app store or on android and this is a web message that you can have display the web message and this is the screen that you get out to you install it on your desktop or on your mobile you can start the meeting or you can check your back this is how you get a scene here showing your upcoming meetings and when you are posting your name will come as a host here and when you are inviting others the other participants names also will be there you have an option to have your video on or off if it is on it will be seen like this this is your personal room your room name your room link the number the address and the post pin can all be seen here these are all the preferences that uh, you as a host can give you can keep them in form 15 minutes before the start of the meeting and this is the chat messages you can have these you know join the meeting leave the meeting raise the hand these kind of things or you can have them sound or you can switch them off and these are all the buttons you have here this is for the mic this is for the video sharing pausing or you know resuming the recording participants chat box this is for leaving the meeting you can share in the screen or any part of your desktop google page or any of these things videos you can show once you send an invitation you can send an invitation if you click on this you get an meeting information you can share it by whatsapp or by email id so once you send an invitation you are actually waiting for the others to join here once they all join here this is how the window comes then what are all the menus you have file edit share view audio participant and meeting this is the personal view these are all the information that you are getting you can share from the locally available list and at the multimedia or the meeting windows you can also give a url link here and when you press on this say it is taking you to that outside uh, this box you can have a participant video show or you can switch it next this is very interesting a view panel where you manage the panels here this is actually for creating a poll where instantly you can take the feedback while the session is going on from your students or it can also be used for taking a small quiz uh, so enable the record as a polling a set of questions asking them to give the answers and then after everybody finishes answering you can show them the answers then and there and tell them to us you can have this prepared much before the meeting say it in your uh, local list and then release it after you complete the amount of your uh, whatever you wanted to finish teaching and give it. so how do you do this you go to manage panels and then uh, select polling it is not otherwise i you can add here You can also add notes here. Actually. So you can uh, add the questions like single answer, multiple answer, all this. Once you give the questions, they can be shared here and then put here. These are all the questions that you can add. Add new question, add the answer, and then after you finish all this, open the poll. As long as you are doing, don't uh, share the screen because participants need not know what you are doing. Once you are done with it, open the poll. as in to answer these questions the results will be shown here like this you can also have a time schedule the time schedule is 5 depending on the number of questions you are giving you can alter this you can close the poll share the things and the same thing this is what you see it on your mobile phone as well 
You can have an option of uh, you know, having the tone when they are entering and exiting, or if you don't want to leave it. You can copy the meeting link and share it. And sharing the screen is another feature where you can give the privileges to another person to share the screen. The same privileges. Now, what are the privileges? A participant can chat with the host, with the presenter, other participants, and you can also chat as public. You can give information, you can record the information, unlock the meeting. Uh, once everybody joins, you better unlock so that you will not have intruders coming into your uh, meeting room. And uh, if anybody is joining you late, it's up to you whether to allow them or not to allow them. If you say lock the meeting, they cannot enter. So only when you unlock, they will be able to leave. Then this comes the participants. Now, participants, what are their rights and privileges? They can, as uh, so the files what you are sharing, you can allow them to print, save, or annotate. Annotate is writing on the screen. And also you can have participants list. You will be able to see the list of the participants. If you uncheck this, they won't be able to see. And then uh, the thumbnails, any page, then uh, sharing the documents, and remotely controlling also you can do. This is what is sharing the screen. You can have all these images, create the shapes, create the drawings. While uh, you are explaining, you feel like writing something, a formula or, a, or an image, you can do so. And then, to make things clear, you can share the screen. You can also permit others to write on the screen. That is one of the sharing options of the annotation. But it's uh, advisable not to do it, because the screen becomes clumsy. There are so many of them writing, and you will not be able to. And there's another thing, if there is a disturbance in the class, a boisterous group, if they're making some noise in class, you don't want them to continue, you can either ask them to leave from the class in a conventional way. But here on these online classes, you have an option called expel. While doing so, share to stop sharing the screen, expel them so that they will not know that you are doing it. And then you can get out. So this is one of the features of the online teaching. Just uh, see what you are doing. Thank you very much. Hope you will be able to use it in your tips. Thank you.